Hello? Hello? All right, so today I booked myself a car photo shoot. Um, just basically just for fun, I had a free hour this afternoon. So I lined some stuff up with Stephanie, mm, mm, Stephanie, Stephanie Moniak, Moniak, Stephanie Moniak. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So I'll put her Instagram up here. She's got a pretty cool little Subaru. She's a member of the Kamloops car scene and uh, she had some free time today as well. So she was kind enough to lend me her time and let me take some photos of her car. And then Josh Fogel, I'll put his Instagram up here as well. He's a local photographer. Um, he's actually going to TRU taking a bunch of classes and one of them is photography. So it was pretty cool having him there and talking about taking photos. Um, he worked the gimbal for me today. He's never used a gimbal before. So we'll see how that footage turned out. And uh, yeah, should be pretty cool. The whole goal of this shoot was to test out the new AI autofocus in the Sony a7R5. This camera has a built-in setting just for cars that I haven't used yet. So I was really excited to give it a shot and see how it worked. I'm gonna jump to that clip. We'll see how it went. All right, so today I'm gonna talk about how I would approach photographing a car. Um, I've got a Subaru coming down. I think I'm gonna do most of the photography right about here. I'm just gonna chat with guys about the process that I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna try and think out loud most of the time and let you know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna screen record what I'm doing in body so you can see that. I'll put it up on the screen once we get going. Cool. Hey there. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Stephanie, nice yes. to meet you. I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. Thanks for your time. This is Josh. Hi. He's going to help you? me out today. Cool. Nice to meet you. That's sweet. You got the summer put on so quick. I think I want you right in the corner. So kind of like right here. Straight back. Straight. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect. Right there. Thank you. Um, I'm kind of just talking to myself right now. I'm going to set this to single shoot. I'm using a circular polarizer. Uh, this car is not too bad. What kind of paint job is that? It's a wrap. It is a wrap, hey? Yeah. So that kind of helps with a bit of the reflections. Um, but on a lot of vehicles, it's like glass on wheels. So a circular polarizer really helps delete some of those reflections. I'm going to keep my ISO pretty low and then I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to turn this to my camera has a car setting that I haven't used yet. So, wow, instantly, instantly it knows where the car is. That's so cool. Technical difficulties. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, he's even going to come and he's going to pull up my, do my tire for me. <laughs> nice. All right, so I'm just adjusting my aperture here. I don't want to shoot at 1.2 because I want the whole car to be in focus. So I'm going to set this at about five. And then there's really no movement in the photo, so I don't have to be too worried about my shutter speed. So that's looking pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool what the polarizer does. If you can see that on the front windshield, I'm getting all the reflection of the branches up top on the windshield. And as soon as I turn this polarizer, all the branches are gone and it just looks nice, clean and blacked out. That looks pretty sweet. I'll do like a front on shot here, nice and centered. come over to this side. So I'm kind of following that left center right rule that I like to follow. That looks nice. 
it's so crazy like the camera knows exactly where the car is it won't focus on the trees it's not focusing on the bushes behind even if I try and get it to it automatically jumps to the car allows me to be pretty lazy actually so I'll get some tighter shots here So you said you have a, you have like a rack coming? What's a hatch mount? Okay. Like, like a spoiler? That's going to be fun. Is this unlocked? So I'm kind of putting the edge of the door sill in my frame just to kind of add a bit of depth to my photo. Again, it's like it even knows where the steering wheel is. It's so crazy. Like I'm not even telling my camera to focus. It instantly picks up on the steering wheel. It already knows like all the car parts I'm looking for. I think I could do something cool like just have the door slightly ajar. That's pretty funky. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of fighting me here. This is the first time I haven't been happy with the focus. It's it's stuck on the bottom of the steering wheel and I'm trying to get into the center of the steering wheel. So, I'm going to have to set it to spot focus and then I can tell it exactly. Oh, it's still fighting me. You can probably see that on the screen there. So I'm not super pumped on that for this shot. So I might actually have to manual focus the shot, which is okay. But I mean, I kind of like autofocus for this. There we go. Cool. I like that. I should probably play with the rear end here a little bit. Oh, check this out. The exhaust pipe has been custom fab to a heart. Get a shot of that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty sweet. So I don't think I actually want to take any photos of the rear of the car because I just don't like what's going on over here. So I'm going to come back over. I'm already like pretty stoked on everything I got. I probably have like three really good photos to work with. Um, just for fun, I'm going to shoot wide open at 1.2. And see what I can kind of get here. Bring my ISO down to 50. Shutter speed up. Put this back on autofocus. Wide. Yeah. I'm going to do some like overexposed stuff. Just so I have lots to play with when I get back to the office. And then... Maybe like a really underexposed shot.
try and hide the building behind the car if I get really low. That looks really nice. And then I come back up here. Boom. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Can we just turn the car around so yeah. I can shoot its ass? Yeah, so I mean, so far the autofocus has been pretty sweet. Um, I think for like, if you're trying to do some really tight creative shots, it seems to get a little confused, but for the most part, shooting the exterior of the car, it's been fantastic and I'm really happy with it. It just allows me to be really lazy. I don't even have to really think about the focus. It just automatically knows what I'm trying to do. Can you turn the steering wheel to the right a little bit? You might have to roll forward just a tad and then just kind of turn the steering wheel sharp to the right so we get that wheel facing back towards me. Right there. So what I'm doing there is I'm just trying to get that wheel to turn so when I take a shot back from here at this quarter angle of the car, I'm gonna see more of the face of that front wheel. So I think that looks really nice. I'm gonna come way back here and get a wider shot. That looks pretty sweet right about there. And then I'm gonna get some close-up shots. What's going on here? Gonna, let's see. Yeah, so you see, I can see the clouds. I can see all these trees. I've got the light post coming in, the reflection of the glass here. And if I turn this polarizer, I almost completely hide all of it. Again, it's really hunting because it doesn't know what I'm trying to do here. So I gotta... Nice. And try and get a shot of exhaust. All right. Sweet, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm gonna switch to a wider lens and we're gonna work on some rolling shots. There's actually a pretty easy math equation that you can use to get really buttery smooth rolling shots. What you do is you take your speed that the vehicle's moving. We're in a pretty slow moving spot. I think the, I think the speed limit in this parking lot is 20 kilometers an hour. So if we're moving 20 kilometers an hour, what you do is you divide that by two and you make it your shutter speed. So I'd want my shutter speed one tenth of a second. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep the car, if I can keep the camera smooth, cause it's a really slow shutter, it's gonna keep the car really nice and sharp, but everything else that's not moving is just gonna be wiped out and blurry and it'll look really nice. It's a lot easier to take shots like this on a highway where you're going hundred kilometers an hour and you can have your shutter at one fiftieth of a second It'll make it easier because the shutter's faster and you're not gonna have jitters in the camera. Um, but I'm just working with what I have in this space. So I'm gonna cut now, we'll set up for that. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna slap on a wider lens and set my camera up a little bit differently for rolling shots. Um, I'm not gonna record this part just cause I don't have enough hands. Josh is gonna drive my forerunner. Stephanie's gonna drive her car and I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out of this back window to get rolling shots of her car. So I'm gonna put this away and 
put a different lens on for a sec. I think what I'm gonna end up using is this Tamron. It's a 17 to 28, so it's quite wide. I already know that we're gonna be really close to each other, so I need something a bit wider to work with. And then I brought this handle grip. Because I'm gonna be hanging out of the car, I wanna have a really good contact with my camera. Uh, I don't wanna be dropping it while we're moving, so this will help me hold on the camera nicely. So I'm just gonna slide this into the cold shoe, and then I can mount my phone on top of that. So I already know that my shutter speed's probably gonna be around 1 15th of a second. I wanna keep my ISO nice and low. And then from there, I'm just gonna adjust my aperture to get me proper exposure. So I'm at 1 15th, 6.3, and my ISO is at 64. 